We say it all the time, the most effective way to stop an armed person who's threatening everyone around him is somebody who's a good guy who's there with their own firearm. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Brazil, and it shows us an armed robbery that's going to be stopped by an armed good guy. It's going to teach us some important lessons here about launching a counter ambush, about shooting until the threat stops, and about follow-up actions after the fight is over. So we see this guy in the pink helmet come in here and has a gun in his hand and he is going to rob this store. And we see the employees behind the counter there, they're just going to start handing him the stuff. They're going to comply. So this guy thinks he's getting away. But what we can't see off camera is there's an off-duty police officer that sees what's going on and he's going to get in position. And when he turns around there with a gun in his hand, the officer is going to shoot him. Now, this guy here is out of the fight that quickly. The officer then is going to put a foot on him there and start talking to the employees and get them out of the danger zone. And this one's going to end right here because we don't have any more footage of him taking him into custody. Let's go back and learn some lessons here. There are eight lessons from this one on our website. Links in the description. But let's think about some of the most important ones here and talk them through on video. And the first one is when this armed robbery starts, guy pulls a gun out. The employees are going to comply. And if you don't have the attitude, skills, and plan, that's what makes up that covering your ASP attitude, skills, and plan. Man, your best bet is compliance and these guys did comply and so they're giving him what he wants now when the officer decides to step in here why would he shoot this guy because what you see is as he's turning around he's got that gun in his hand sees the officer and now he is absolutely a deadly threat notice in the right side there's an, a bystander as well is just coming out of that door and he's gonna have to boogie out of there as well now the officer shoots him and I do notice that he shoots him and then stops shooting because you saw the gun fly out of the perp's hand you can see it at the bottom of the screen there that once that threat stops the officer officer stops shooting. That's what we do. We stop threats. We're not out to kill. If the guy dies, that's on him, not on us. But he shot to stop the threat. Once the threat stopped, he stopped shooting. Now here you see him. He puts his foot on the guy. I don't recommend that. Maintain a little bit of distance. You know, if you're not an off-duty police officer or whatever, you want to maintain distance with a firearm. It's a distance tool. Now you see this other guy here. He gets the heck out of the danger zone as well. The, the officer communicated well with the, the employees. They got out of the danger zone and that's really wise. But in the aftermath, if you have to stay next to a downed attacker, make sure you go get the gun and get that out of the way so that it's not a threat anymore and secure it. All in all, this officer did a great job of defusing the threat, shot until the threat stopped, and he covered his ASP.